Hello my friends, this is WakeAngel2001 and after I posted my review of the Ultimate Collector Sonic figure I, um, I went through the comments that I received and it seems that the QC issue with the backwards arms was something that only affected me as other people said that they did not have that issue with their figure. So I went back to Toys R Us and exchanged it for one of the other three that they had on the shelf. So this is a Sonic figure that does not have the arm issue. So yeah, check it out. See, that arm is installed the proper way. You can see how it, it, it slopes down slightly to the back of the elbow instead of the front of it, allowing him a full 90 degree bend. Oh, not a full 90, but a full bend without actually compromising the plastic. So, huzzah. Um, Unfortunately, it seems that not that that these figures just can't avoid some form of quality control issue. Because take a look at this face. That's not dust. Um, there's parts where he's peeling. Like my Sonic figure has a bad sunburn. Um, okay, so I believe what happened is that um, Jack Pacific does the same thing that I do. The figure was either cast or painted in a regular paint that's quite glossy, and then they use some kind of of uh, overspray or some kind of matte finish, the same way that I do, to make um, to make that matte look, which makes him look more textured and organic. You know, it's supposed to be the premium paint job. I'm zoomed out too far to premium paint job that makes this figure so much better than everything else. The only problem is that apparently uh, these people don't actually double check their work. So this one, it, it was like in beads and speckles. Like in the box, you couldn't tell because of the glare of the plastic on top of it. But once I got it out of the box, I realized that this thing, like, yeah, like two Sonic figures in a row and they each have a quality control issue. Look, see, look at that. I have an action figure with a bad case of eczema. So this so-called premium paint job, ugh, it, quite frankly, it looks like I could do better. I have literally done better than this. And I don't charge 50 bucks for my, for my customs. I, I charge 20 and you know, like depending on the base toy, how much that costs, that might raise it to 50, but you know, mo most of the time, due to the cost of the base toy, the custom ends up ultimately costing somewhere in the mid-30s. Like, still cheaper. And, you know, that's custom handmade stuff. This is, this is, um, you know, a mass-produced product meant for collector retail. But still, like, uh, he is still fully posable. I guess I can, I can live with this. But still, it's, um... Considering the typical retail price of this figure, it should not have this many quality control issues. I mean, this isn't just some frivolous little thing again for 10 bucks. It is the collector grade figure. This is supposed to be the definitive Sonic. People are supposed to look at this and say that. That is the best Sonic action figure there is. And, well, I bought two and both have had problems and they don't even have the same problem so this is just like quality control issues around the board um, <clears throat> but I guess uh, since I have some more time now um, I can do some other corrections <clears throat> uh, in the last video I called this the lightning wisp I believe I was con I was calling it that because of his lightning shaped tail uh, that is incorrect. He is actually the Cyan Wisp, the one that grants the laser power. I do believe that I did say he grants the laser power, but I kept calling him Lightning. Uh, so I was aware that this was the Cyan Wisp in my brain, but my mouth kept coming out Lightning. Because again, shape of the tail. Um, also, I was told that apparently uh, Sonic's hand is meant to hold the wisp, so like, I guess if you put it like that, he holds the wisp, I can, can you get, um, 
Is it supposed to be his right hand that holds it? I mean, it looks like it's the same shape, but I guess because it's the other side that... Um, is that what they're going for? Hold on, me. Let's see something here. Let's actually get the hand swapped in. And... Can we get... And yeah, look, the wisp actually does fit right in that hand. Of course, the wisp is kind of huge. I don't remember the wisp being this big in relation to Sonic in the actual video game. Um, but yes, Sonic is capable of holding the wisp. And I'm frankly super impressed that this actually balances. I was completely expecting the figure to fall right over as soon as I put that wisp in his hand because it's so big. But apparently it works. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that's the, that's the thing about this figure. Um, the, so, I guess I could say this is a redemption, because, like, they don't all have the assembly error, but they, they are prone to quality control issues, because there's two ish, two figures I bought, two figures that had quality control issues, and they had different issues, so that's, that's not good. And, um, well, you know, I, I do, I do like the fact that the Cyan Whist looks so cool. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it would, it's a well-engineered figure. Let's give it that. It's, it's a very good figure in principle. Um, you know, like, if, if Jax could have just been a little bit more, you know, um, careful, <laughs> if they could have, uh, done a, a quick run through with a factory inspection then maybe I wouldn't feel so salty about the increased price tag of the thing but yeah that's there goes my verdict folks so there we go this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off